I'm Dr. Lamont Baker, the host of the new show, Dream Cultivation. <laughs> Man, this is so surreal. This is my first show, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, wow. Wow. I, all I can say is wow. <laughs> so, again, my name is Dr. Lamont Baker, uh, but the community uh, and the streets call me, and the young folks, they say, hey, Doc, Mr. Baker, Big Baker, <laughs> Unk, <laughs> or Big Bro. I keep it real. Raw and relevant. Dream cultivation. This program is to help youth and young adults to dream again, to live again, to imagine again, oh wow, believe in yourself. That's what this show is all about, to come through the TV, in your spirit, in your mind, to give you hope, to give you promise again, and to give you possibilities. You know, the idea is to teach you and expose you to cultivate your mind and your heart to never quit. That's my, one of my, that's my favorite saying, never quit. And I'll tell you more about that. Experts say that during the pre-adolescence, the adolescence years, and young adults are years of transformation, years of change. I mean, your hormones are changing, emotions are changing, you're stressing, there's anxiety. You're also rebellion. <laughs> there's a self-identity. And this is very important. This is the road of self-discovery, trying to figure it out. I get it, been there, done that, and I, Hope my words of wisdom, experience, and expertise uh, will help you to navigate, huh? To navigate this turbulent time. So, I want to expose you to possibilities. That's right. I want you to dream. <laughs> and if you ain't dreaming, start using your God-given ta talent and abilities to dream again. And I'm going to share with you how you can plan and develop your niche and your purpose. You matter. You really do. And if you have those moments that huh, you don't matter, I'm here to tell you, Dr. Baker, AKA 
Big Baker says you matter. You're unique. You know, uh, think of a snowflake. There's no snowflake that's the same. <laughs> it has a different shape, a different size. And you, and especially you, you have a uniqueness. You have a voice. And most times, you know, when you're young, you f don't feel you have a voice. <laughs> but this show will, will teach you and advise you and help you to discover your own voice, your own voice, right? You know, uh, I always have quotes and different sayings, uh, different common sense stuff. And yes, I have data too. I am a doctor, <laughs> but tough times don't last. Think about that. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. And I believe it's in your DNA. <laughs> you know, um, it's rough. It's a trip growing up. It is. I get it. And I'm going to share with you, you may think, how this old man, <laughs> how can he tell me something? Well, I'm still young at heart. <laughs> uh, and I still got that swagger, you did. So uh, uh, James Brown said it best. He said, say it loud, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. And for those, quite frankly, who is not of the African diaspora, diaspora or lineage, a background, being an African American, just fill in the blank. Say it loud. And whatever your ethnic group is, you can say it. I give you permission. <laughs> you got this. You got this. All things are possible <laughs> if you believe. Do you believe? What happened to your belief? In yourself. Let's start there. Uh, something happened along the way. And trust me, um, you're born, and then one day there's death. In between, it is potential. God has given you the gift of life, and your gift back to mankind, to yourself, to your family. To others, it's what you do with that. Time waits for no one. You're here today. I used to say you're gone tomorrow. But, you know, uh, I was a... Uh, getting ready for work back in the day. I know you don't want to hear that, but I'm going to share my story. I was getting ready to work. I was uh, working at a law firm in the mail room. And you understand why I say 
I changed it from you hear, uh, uh, you know, they say you hear, uh, 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 you, you, you leave tomorrow, right? But real talk, you can leave today. So many young people are leaving us. I was looking at the news today and last night. Teenagers, young people, juveniles, life has just stopped for them. And this show is not a, a gloom and doom. No, it's a reality show. And my prayer is that it would give you hope and give you belief in yourself. And you can find your inner voice, your inner, I call it, creative genius. Yeah. Okay. Breathe, Lamont. <laughs> my one of my daughters, <laughs> she told me that I was going through uh, something one day, and uh, she put her arms around me. She was in grade school at the time. She put her arms around me because I, I was crying. And uh, let me say this here. A, a real men cry. Boys cry. You did. And uh, so I was crying because I had a, a moment. Like you and I have. Sometimes we have a moment, <laughs> you did. And she said, she put her arms around me and said, Daddy, it's going to be okay. And so I shared it with you to say, it's going to be okay. You may wonder, how can I say that and I don't know you? Well, I know young people. They are human beings. They go through their ups and downs. They battles, they struggles. They successes. And the more you get to know me, and I'm going to share some more through this program, you will understand. So what is dream cultivation? <laughs> Good question. I was waiting for you to ask. Dream cultivation. Well, that's the short uh, uh, term, dream cultivation. The original version of that is a youth program that I started called Dream Cultivation, but it matriculated to become Dream Cultivation Youth Training Institute. Dream Cultivation Youth Training Institute. So when I had to uh, decide uh, on a title, I thought the Dream Cultivation was too long. To cultivation, youth training, that was too long. So I just said dream cultivation. 
So I'm going to take you where it all started. It started uh, in Ida B. Wells uh, public housing. And by the way, you see that smile? That's because I'm a proud former resident of Ida B. Wells. You see that smile? <laughs> I, I, and I'll share more about that. And for those who don't know where Ida B is, uh, we called it the low end. Uh, and it's by 35th and roads all the way back to 39th and King Drive going east. It's kind of funny. It goes to Laney and you got the Daryl Holmes right there and it veers back up north to uh, 38 and Cottage Grove all the way back to uh, 35th and uh, Vincennes and Rhodes. So it's a large uh, space. Well, they torn it down, but that's where it started. Uh, I remember um, a friend of mine, shout out to Stormy Ashley. She uh, was working at Centers for New Horizon. And she knew that I was involved helping young people and had a heartbeat, a heartbeat for young people. So she told them about me. And uh, I was uh, offered an interview and the rest is history. <laughs> and we'll talk about that. Uh, and this program, uh, it was a program for young people and young adults, mentoring, uh, tutoring, uh, job readiness. Uh, we did trips. Uh, and they did a beautiful mural. It was the, the lighthouse, the beacon of hope of Ida B. Wells. The young people, they did an excellent job of drawing what they envisioned. And so that's where it started. And then it matriculated to my grad school. I officially made it a non-for-profit under my mentor, uh, uh, Henry English. And um, since by that time, I worked it in a number of young uh, youth organizations, and I'll tell you more about that. Uh, but when I got injured, yeah, I got injured uh, in July of uh, 2022, July 23rd. Uh, I had uh, a stroke two, uh, one week later, I had two heart attacks. The same day, I had uh, a blood clog in my right leg. Uh, the stroke, uh, I had bleeding on my brain because of the stroke. I couldn't talk. My memory was gone. Jacked up. <laughs> um, and then the same day, it paralyzed me entirely on my right side. 
I couldn't move my hand or I couldn't walk. And after that, I died twice. I share that testimony for those young people that are dis have disability. Um, uh, this show is for young people, young adults, parents, practitioners, and scholars. The show, it airs every first Monday of every month, 5 p.m. Central Time, right here on Can TV. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can email me at Dream Cultivation. D R E A M Cultivation. C U L T I V A T O N C U L T I V A T I O N thirty nine. Dream Cultivation thirty nine at gmail.com. And uh, I have a Facebook page. And uh, since I've been injured, I do a virtual thing now. Okay. And that's why I'm on TV. So we can, you can see me, I can share with you. We're going to have uh, real issues, practical issues. Uh, we go talk about uh, young people, uh, gangs, uh, juvenile delinquents, high school, high school uh, dropouts, college, uh, careers. So we go talk about everything that caters to young people. And I'm going to have guests on, youth organizations, videos. Uh, so we're going to have fun too. Okay. Uh, I'll share with you next time, uh, more of my credentials, uh, and yes, I got a doctorate of education and there's more to Dr. Lamont Baker, uh, I come from the hood. I was ranked last in my high school class. 513, I was number 513. I had struggles. I was recruited in a gang when I was about 12 or 13 years old, you did. I work with homeless young people. Um, LGBTQIA plus young people, church young people. So I work with all young people. But again, I want you to join me next Monday, next month. I'm my bad, my bad. Next month, right here, Mon May 6th at 5 p.m. on Can TV. Thank you for watching Dream Cultivation with. Dr. Lamont Baker. And remember, never quit. Love God. Love yourself. Love your family. And love life. 
Don't quit. Take care.